Welcome back to episode 19 of G'day from the USA. I'm your host, Lady Amanda, and I thought it would be fun to have a chat about what it's really like for an Australian living and working in the USA. I'm here today with Kyla. Here I am. G'day. She was born and raised in Oregon in the beautiful Pacific Northwest, and she's about as American as yard sales. <laughs> wow. Well, what it's that time of the year is, and I bloody love them. I'm secondhand. <laughs> Trash. Trash yeah, and treasure. Nice trashes. We nice all know treasure. I love a good bargain. We well. are joined again by our other favourite Canadian, Cassie, Julie's daughter. <laughs> Cassie was born in Kamloops, Canada and raised in Battleground, Washington in the USA. Cassie is Canadian-American as Niagara Falls. <laughs> oh. It, that oh. works. That, that was literally, good. Literally both. That was so countries. good. Thank so you. So good. I like thought hard about that one. Nicely done. Thank you. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. I feel me. like we didn't get enough time last time to chat, so we came came back for more for more punishment. Yep, I did. Uh, one up to everyone that's been on the show so Woo-hoo. far. Yep. One up. She bought voodoo donuts. Yes. yes, I did. And let's just say, <laughs> bloody good. She held back and didn't get us the cock and balls donut. I, I just want, maybe next time I'll get you the cream filled cock and balls. <laughs> Wow, I'm good with what you've got. What did you get? A, uh, I got you a voodoo doll. Yes, with a uh, something through its heart. That, that would be the needle. A needle. Yeah, you know, voodoo oh, dolls a voodoo needles. doll. Gotcha. And then I think that's the paradise something or other pina colada. The Ugh. pina colada is okay, but the the voodoo cream and the voodoo doll thing is no, nah, that's mm, my favorite. It's a little bit goofy. Ah, uh, thank you. Set the set the bar very high for anyone else coming on the show. Yeah. May just get no other yes, people coming you. on the show. It's, it's easy. It's down by the mall. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I oh, did hear that now. they'd moved. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we used to go to Portland. I mean, I've literally been to it twice, and it was a big event to go yeah. to Portland to this and wait in line. Famous. No yeah, line. Yeah. No line? No line. You know why? Because it's Vancouver and it's better than Portland. <laughs> yeah, in Portland, we literally probably had to wait like 45 minutes to get oh, in. Easily. And then the and pressure that, to But you had to one. find parking before that. So Yeah, tons of parking. Super clean. Everybody's so friendly. Been there a couple times. Mm. Walked right in. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Please keep talking while I eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching you stuff your face. It's okay. I took a bite at the wrong time. She really did. <laughs> this episode is fueled today by Davina, queen of the night. Queen of the night. <laughs> Hello, Davina. A coffee. Thank you, my darling. He said he's loving the show, guys. That was very generous. Thank you so much. Linda also bought us a coffee and said she enjoys listening to us. Thank you both. We really appreciate the love. Wait, isn't Linda your mom? Whatever. That's not the point. (laughs) (laughs) If you. (laughs) It's the thought that counts, people. Hi, Ma. (laughs) If you would like to be the proud sponsor of the show next week, jump on to buymeacoffee.com. Forward slash get a USA. G D A Y USA. <laughs> you actually have an interesting idea about our coffee money, Cassie. Oh, yeah. I think you should uh, ask people what they want to wa- listen to you try. Uh huh. Like put money in towards a. Like ran- a food kit? Food. Okay, food kitty. So if someone yeah. wants us to try like some random. Like that really hot chip. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I That's love watching the man eat And then we chips. just have to suffer through whatever. Yeah. I like it. Or like, I don't like, what's that? Veggie mic cr- stuff. Mm, so oh. good. Mm-mm. When it's prepared correctly, it's delicious. Okay, get this. You know how it's like a yeast spread? Uh-huh. They came out with Veggie mic chips at one time, which, beautiful, like tasted good. Then they came out with Veggie mic chocolate. Ew. Oh, no. Fail. Mm. I mean, I had to try it. I kind of want to call it the yeasty beastie. <laughs> That's totally. Can I make something with some yeasty beastie, please? <laughs> Can you just never say that again? The yeasty beastie. Uh, Cassie went for a massive hike today. Yeah. yeah. Her son, who she dragged. The son I walked no, no, I didn't seven drag. miles. Didn't drag him. No, he walks it on yeah, his own. I'm him. so impressed. Like That's like 10K for an Australian. Yep. Probably even more. Mm-hmm. Yep. Maybe 11K. Yeah, 11K. Uh, 10K is about six miles, so yeah. Yeah. So yep. tell us where you went. We went down to Silver Falls, and mm. it's Trail of the Ten Falls. Love that. We In went. Oregon. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty. You to walk behind waterfalls. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, we got to redo it, though, because we didn't make it to number 10. We did nine. 
was that's the so ten, amazing. The tenth is like off the beaten track. More it was it? yeah, it was a mile up and a mile back. And at that point, I remember that too. I didn't pack enough snacks and. Mm. The troops uh, were getting hangry. Uh, yeah, and I don't want to push. Meaning you, not your yeah. son. Yeah, that too. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's four, so I don't want to push him too hard. I mean, that's not nice. He'll I want sleep him to- good. It's seriously impressive. Yeah. He was riding his bike when we got home. Oh, Did you not Lord. fall asleep in the car on the way home? No. You know what? It's like dogs. You're just conditioning him to be more fit. <laughs> yep. So it takes more and more to tire him out. I will say, though, a bear will, will never sneak up on a bear. He talked the whole <laughs> time to me that's serious what's that crazy. noise what was that blah, really blah, blah. oh yeah well you know it's like he's starting he's he's gotten the sentences down now and stuff and then now you just can't stop him he's a little legend he is he's we the coolest see if we kid can get a photo from today of you guys oh I, put it on our facebook no. i rode with him up the trail with knockers when he was just teeny tiny mm. and we went for a long ways considering how young he is yep. you know yeah, it was it was great. Yeah, he is a little legend. Uh, how was your week, guys? It was good. Yeah, we spent Father's Day at your house. Oh, you did. We did. David. Oh my lord. Cooked. Okay, so I do not eat beef. Uh huh. And they were trying to tell me it was pork. You would uh, have thought it was pork. If I would have thought, beef. and I did have a little nibble, and I do not eat red meat, and it could have been pork. It and, actually tasted yeah, really good. One, if she hadn't have known. That I would it have was beef. Just she would have eaten it. Mowed in. Which I don't understand quite it's how mental. that works. It's mental. I, even I don't said that get it. Hundred percent. Like it, I even said. Like I admit it. I know. But I when can't it tastes get past good, it. it's not like you're eating a dog turd. No. All I can see is like. Next blood. time we're just gonna say everything's be- uh, pork. Except well, it doesn't chicken. matter because she'll know That's you're true. lying. Not necessarily. Right, I'm stupid. Of course, I'll believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say stupid. I would just say <gasps> gullible. Gullible. Did- did you see there's a sticker on the ceiling? Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, Which I there isn't. Out. She looks, but look there up. isn't I was one. Like, what sticker? What did you put? Uh, we're going camping tomorrow. Are you going to come? Uh, we just dropped some hay. So no. Oh. She'll be haying. That's the joys of living out in the farms. Yep. Got her hay. Yep, it's hay season. Uh, I yep. bought a new grill, so I'm excited to try that. I got okay. a Blackstone. I'll ask what day we're bailing. Okay. And then maybe we'll come up. I have yeah. tomorrow It's off, only so. a couple of hours. No, we're just going for, yeah, it's like an hour and a half. It's not far. No. And uh, we're only going until I think Sunday. Yeah. I think that's when the reservation's through. So It's Scapoose, right? Ish. Ish. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite camp meal? <clears throat> S'mores. S'mores. Oh, yeah. Bought a s'mores. I like s'mores. Bought a s'mores kit. Oh, fancy. You, you needed a kit. You need to get uh, chocolate chip cookies and put marshmallows Ooh, in the middle of the chocolate. dirty. Or you could do those thin Oreos that you like. Yes. And put a marshmallow in between two Kyla's of those. Kyla's going to be real disappointed because I couldn't get the mint ones and I just got the vanilla oh, with extra stuff. Ew, no. I know. Why didn't you tell no. me? I I could have got you them all oh, here. I only do so the thin sweet, mints. But the donuts is good. The thin, the, they, well, the thin ones. I got ones. the thin, but they're not mint. But they're, extra stuffing. Ew, no. Uh, one more week. Guess what will be happening uh, in one more week today? You will be we're, a U.S. Oh. citizen. I will join you as a dual citizen. <laughs> Welcome yes. to the club. So I thought that we could all just uh, recite the Pledge of Allegiance so I can get it in my head because I keep missing a chunk. Big time. Okay, Cassie, do you know it? Most of it. Okay, it's let's do it all together. You do it. No. You do it. <laughs> no, you do it. Okay. I know it by heart. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and, and to the republic for which, which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, Lord. Amen. Amanda. No, there is no oh, amen. It just sounds like it needs no. an amen. No amen afterwards. Did she afterward. just really put an amen? <laughs> it sounds yeah. like it's just like a little I, prayer. I like no. It. I feel like I'm back no, I'm in school. In. Definitely not. Uh, we have feedback from last week. A week cannot go by without our favorite little Aussie reaching out. Caden sent us the most adorable voicemail with a question in there for Kyla, possibly Cassie. Ooh. So listen carefully while I play it. Hello, good day from the USA. It's Caden here. I have a question. In Australia, we call ourselves Aussies. What does Americans call themselves? P.S. If it's not five stars, don't even bother. <laughs> That's right, buddy. You got it. <laughs> what a 
rock star? <laughs> what a, that is a good question because I know what the rest of the world calls you. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> <laughs> no, way worse than no? that. Oh. No, everyone calls you yeah. like a yank or a Yankee. Ugh. Oh, well, yep. we don't, no, we don't really refer no, to ourselves don't, that. We, like we refer to ourselves as Americans. York. But then, so, but then regionally, I'm so Caden, if you, <laughs> if you live in Oregon, you're an Oregonian. If you live in Washington, you're Washingtonian. Uh, California, Californian. Idaho, Idahoan. So it. <laughs> Idahoan? Are you making this up? No. No, no, she's, she's I'm right. an Idahoan. I'm, that's right. But we still have the same thing. Like we have Victorians, like. A New Yorker. Melbourneian. But what, as a collective group, would Americans. you Americans. say? Americans. Americans. That's so boring. You wouldn't say Yank? No. no. I would never I'm call them. I'm a Yankee doodle dandy. When I think of Yanks, I, I think, oh I think of the, the division between the South and the, the North. The South and the North. Really? Yeah. Like you might, if you're in the South, they might refer to somebody who lives, uh, you know, north of them as a Yankee. But, yeah. I mean... That's Typically, no, I wouldn't say so. No, I, I am a redneck. So, to ask you your question, they just call themselves Americans. Cassie calls herself a, a redneck. redneck, and Kyla calls herself an asshole. <laughs> oh, oh, I, why would you where, say that to a kid? Where's the beep button? I don't have the beep <laughs> button at the moment. Oh, well, that's uh, that's unfortunate. I, Kaden, I, I changed my name. What Kyla said. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Caden, keep your eye on your letterbox because we have something coming in the mail for you. Ooh. We sent it yesterday, so I reckon it should be there by the end of the month, but uh, maybe at least a months. week. That's true, maybe <laughs> six months, but I'm going to guess by the We're end hoping. of June. Yep. Yes, g'day from the USA. Sent you a gift. Uh, Sarah said Annie had some great questions. I personally did not enjoy being in the hot seat. Oh, you were sweating. And has a question for us. Ready. Another question. What happened in Darwin, Australia, in World War Two to make the US and Australia such close military allies? I don't know. Uh, was Darwin getting bombed and then the US came to their aid? I, I don't know. Yeah, pretty close. What about Cassie? Blank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Cassie's like, just sitting there like, ahead. I'm not saying anything. Basically, Kyla was right. It was the bombing of Darwin by the Japanese in 1942 during World War Two. This attack emphasised the Japanese threat to Australia, leading to enhanced co- cooperation between the two nations. Australian and American forces collaborated extensively in joint, <laughs> extensively in joint operations. That must have happened when they were island hopping. Because in World War II, wasn't there island hopping going on? I don't know. Uh, now we've got the blank faces. Yeah. I'm very... My, yeah, yeah, most of my I World War II about World War. knowledge is regarding like the Nazis and their their uh, atrocities. But um, <clears throat> it makes sense. I mean, if the Japanese were our, considered our enemy, mm-hmm. then... And then they bombed us. You know, your, your enemy's my enemy. Yeah. Enemy, enemy of my enemy is We've my always friend. been... Mm-hmm. Like, we've always shared the bond. Well, I would imagine it, it also ties into England and... True. You know, Western Western thinking countries, I guess. True, yep. true. Okay. Instead of the guess the Australian word, we're going to mix it up again like we did last week. I'm going to give you some Aussie words and you are going to try to guess the American word. Are you ready? Sure. Serviette. That's something you... Did you say Soviet or serv- Serviette? Serviette. <laughs> what is a Soviet? What is a Soviet Union? <laughs> Serviette. Russian. That's that's like a dish or something. Kyla? That would be a napkin. Correct. Oh, Ching. Wrong. Main course. <laughs> Jesse's like, what are you, what language are you talking? It's main course. Like that's when a I hot go out firefighter to eat. for Cassie. Like if you go to dinner sure. you, wait, and you order your main course, what do you it's what's not, it called here? The main course. Oh, sorry. That was actually my phone this time. Wow, it's normally everyone. Me. Uh it's gonna do it again if you don't hand it over to me. Okay. Unfortunately. Main course. Main course. It's the main course. I call it the main course. That's good, probably because you're Canadian. Yeah. Uh, it, entree. They call it here. Oh like God. the entree. Why would it never? Sultana. Uh, Santana is a band. <laughs> Sultana. <laughs> <That's> a band. <laughs> yeah. It's a band. <laughs> okay. The Sultana band. Okay. Uh, it's a cracker. It is a raisin. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, this one you should all get. Lemonade. 
<laughs> what is funny? Gassy. It's a summer drink. It's a lemonade. But is it bubbly? Yeah, like what would is I it, call what's it a made lemonade? With? It's well, it depends on where what you color go. is it. It's yellow here. So yes, you're correct. For us, that is what our lemonade is. Yeah, in uh, the UK, I had uh, orange lemonade, and it oh, was fizzy. Well, here it's just like we would Sprite. call Sprite lemonade. Like if I said, can I have a lemonade? Mm-hmm. Get me a Sprite. Amanda kept getting the wrong kind of lemonade when she first yeah, moved I'd here. Yeah, I'd ask for a lemonade. Like, I'll have a lemonade, and they'd bring her lemonade. And, and she's I'd, like, uh. I'm wanting a Sprite, and then it's coming some sugary water. I'm like, <laughs> what? Excuse me, uh, wrong drink. <laughs> she's like, you ordered a lemonade? Yeah, this is not lemonade. Thongs. <laughs> I got a pair on my feet. Yes. Oh, I was going to say I have one going up my butt. I was going to say that too, but we have we have uh, minors listening. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you for being <laughs> cognizant of that <laughs> for once. For once, it does say explicit content on your uh, description. I've Should- been leaving it off for Caden. I may need to ramp it back up. Wonder how he's allowed to download it. Don't know. Interesting. Maybe his parents hack in. Love it. Thanks for listening, Caden. Uh, Flip flops, <laughs> holiday. It's a vacation day. Yeah, yeah. Not just vacation day, vacation. Flat. That's an apartment. Yeah, you go, girl. Fist bump. It's also a bit, a bit of fruit here, like you know, a flat lot. of fruit, a flat, mm-hmm. eh, like a flat of strawberries, strawberries, mm-hmm. melons, uh, melons. Ute. What? Ute. Like a yurt. Ute. U-T-E. <laughs> I love you. Like yeet? <laughs> I want to yeet you. Yeet you. I want to yeet. yeet this donut. Ute. She doesn't know what yeet that means. That is a truck. Yes. Indicator. That's a blinker. Blinker? Yep. Overtake. Mm. Like I know it. I want to overtake someone it's like when on the, the road. Yeah. Where is that? Like you're passing, yeah, to pass. Well, all you said was like, like, yeah. Well, she <laughs> just, yeah. she just, she just described it. <laughs> like, and I just said the exact same word again. Yeah. Like when you overtake someone, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's it, that's it, yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. Okay, that made perfect sense. So, figured while you're here, <laughs> oh, can we talk about dating? Yeah, we can talk about dating. You're currently throwing yourself out there in the world of dating. Not really, but yeah, I find some <laughs> of the things that you tell me. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious, and I thought it would be fun to have a little bit of a chat about this. Yeah, go for so it. So what apps are you using? Uh, let's see here. I, have, I just deleted Tinder for the 100th millionth time. I'm curious why you deleted it. Oh, I just delete them every now and then. Over it. That's the one when you swipe left or right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you, actually, all of them are swipe left or right nowadays. Every one of them. They stole that idea. Oh, are they? Mm-hmm. Oh. Even POF, Plenty of Fish. Oh, that one was around back in the day. <clears throat> yeah, that, that's... Uh, yeah, and then I have I just added the Facebook dating. What? What? Yeah, there's a dating thing Is on. Is it Facebook. like marketplace for people? Yeah, basically. Oh, that's interesting. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, my profile basically just says I'm an asshole and a lot to handle. And I bet you just get boy, you must get hammered. so many <laughs> offers. Uh, uh, a lot of guys are interested, but I have issues with people like I give. A hundred percent. And then like I get not that much back. So like if I say good morning to somebody, I'd like them to do it sometimes too. Like right. beat me to that. Are you the type of person that if you text someone mm-hmm. and they don't text back like in a reasonable time, you're like write them off? Uh, It's a day. Okay, because I feel they- like I'm really bad at texting back, so I just want to know my limits with you. Oh, no, <laughs> but I'm not dating you. Okay, so I can have like a couple of days. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I'd ever do that. No. But sometimes like I'm working at night or I wake yeah. up and see it and then I'm like forget to reply and crazy things happen. No, I, I, have, I have friends that are like that and uh, yeah, they I'm they watching don't. Amanda <laughs> finger the donut. <laughs> what? <laughs> So eating the the hell bit. did I just see? Did she just stick her finger in and lick it off? Yes. Oh. Like stuck it in the jelly bit of the donut <laughs> and pulled it out and <laughs> plopped it in her mouth and right out. Look at she's turning pink now. 
<laughs> my God. And you got caught. Laugh. I don't understand. <laughs> it was, it was, the middle was really good of that. <laughs> the dating sucks. Um, can I just say the term dating is really American? Is it? Like, obviously, we know and understand the word, uh-huh. and we. Like we would use the words like going out with someone or right. seeing someone as opposed to the word dating. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's – you see it in movies and that. It's not like something we would be like – Well, and I think, say. I think going out to dinner too is really archaic. I've been on some pretty fantastic first dates that weren't to dinner. I was going to get to that. <laughs> I was going to get to that. Uh, I did a bit of research into the differences between dating and American – American, America and Australia. And let me just say this is extremely generalized to the culture as a whole because I honestly feel like the three of us are all exceptions to the rule. Mm-hmm. Like as I go through all these, you're going to be like, yeah, that's me, that's me, that's me. Yeah. So just keep this in mind. This is what Google says, not Amanda. Okay, dating culture. So in the USA, dating follows often follows a more formalized process with explicit expectations and defined stages, such as going on dates, becoming exclusive, becoming a couple. In Australia, we have a more relaxed and casual approach with a greater emphasis on getting to know someone through social activities and group hangouts. Thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> Cassie's making inappropriate gestures. Yeah, over I was here. just ignoring. It's more that. relaxed. I, I I like I like the more relaxed, not that way approach. Um, I don't like formal things. I think you don't get truly who somebody is if it's super formal setting. Like describe your perfect date. Oh my gosh! So I've been let's see, I've been shooting the climbing one was good. Oh, that was so much fun. I'm still a bit salty over that guy, but. Uh from climbing describe what even climbing is because i'm sure (laughs) every australian's like so um on the pacific coast Coast. uh i go clamming up in uh up in long beach and we could do razor clams oh i didn't know they had a name yeah they're razor clams Mm -hmm. and they're long and thin Uh, and they you lost me at thin yeah (laughs) (laughs) and 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 so you have these things, and they're called they, we call them clamming guns, mm-hmm. and it's basically a tube. Uh, it's plastic or it's metal, and what you do is you look for little um, breathing holes in the sand, and then you mm. shove this tube down, and you cover the hole so there's a suction barrier made, and you yank it out, and the clam will be in the sand, and you just pick it up. Wow! And you cook it. Yep. Can you eat it raw? I wouldn't. Okay. I, you were going to take me clamming. I know. We didn't have a very good season this year. Yeah. It sometimes you have to be careful because they, they get bacteria or <laughs> yeah, something, and they right? Close and they, it, can, mm-hmm. they it close was, it down because it becomes it a, was a hazard. For, um, it was closed for a very long time this year. Yeah. Yep. But, but next year, I have two guns because I bought two guns. Oh, you actually have to buy them? Well, no. Well, because it's my own equipment. Ah, gotcha. And we'll go get you a tag. It's 13 bucks, I think. You need a tag? Oh, you need a permit. Huh. Yeah. Like it, well, we needed one to, to pick the... huckleberries, for crying out loud. No, I didn't know this that. This is true. Yeah. Oops. This is true. Uh, number two, gender, gender roles are often less rigidly defined in Australia, meaning both men and women are generally comfortable with taking the initiative and dating and expressing their interest. As I said, I think we're exceptions to the rule because, Cassie, I could imagine you'd just be like, hey, we go on you and me. Meet me here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm busy. No, I, I, no. You will be there <laughs> if I'm at 3 inter- p.m. If I'm interested in somebody, that does happen. But right. if they don't have my interest, then I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I have better things to do. Yeah. I'm like, Sorry, uh, I'm doing my nails. Oh, uh, yeah, my nails. But I think that's normal. That's true of anyone. Yeah. Yeah. You know. But like I said, this is so generalized that yeah. I, well, I had to scrape the bottom of the barrel for this. I you're saying that. I'm like scraping it. the bottom of the barrel currently. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. I've got so, so many questions. It's a shallow pond with that, all those very fish. Very shallow. And of fish. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm hoping that it gets really hot and then the water dries up and they just all keel gone. over. Yeah. What are you looking for? I am looking for um, a country guy that wants to prepare a homestead, basically. I would love somebody that would want a home, homestead. And would you want to get married? I don't care about marriage. I think comes into play when 
there's kids involved more. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't think it's as important at my age. If I do get married, I know what I want, where I want to get married. Your to advanced tell. age. Uh-huh. Your advanced age. Yeah, my advanced mm-hmm. age, yeah. I would love to get married in Scotland in a castle oh, with a black Oh, we've dress. already talked yeah. about this, of course. Yeah. And I did tell you that uh, yeah. Chrissa, who was on this, uh, the 911 episode, she did the exact thing, got married and, at and the I castle. And I didn't know black, that. No, she didn't. And I said, you're just describing my friend's wedding. And yeah. you had said it right after she would got back. Yeah. And I, I literally beautiful. pulled up the photo on my phone and was like, this? And she's like, yes, yeah. exactly no, that. I would love to do that. Um, Mar- even if we just have the ceremony, I'm, marriage isn't, and I'm open to somebody and that's, I think I've asked you guys how you guys met. Cause I'm open to somebody in a different country, kind of. Mm-hmm. You do countries. have a friend in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. Jesse, uh, shout yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, I'll see if I can get him to ping New Zealand for you. Um, to listen. Yeah. yeah. I would love we it. We met on Tinder. Interesting. When I did not know COVID that. hit. Cause ah. Tinder yep. opened up the borders the minute COVID hit. So we've been friends for three years. That's cool. That's really cool. He's a nice guy. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't know him. I mean, obviously, well, you, I know you all video them. chatted with well, him. I hope yes, Kiwi guys chatted. are nicer than your Australian ones. Oh, Australian people are nice. Uh, I mean, I can see myself with an Australian sheep. I've known a couple of Australian men, and I'm not impressed. And I don't know no? how you Australian women do it. No, no, nah. I don't know very many Australian men. I've met a few in oh. my like th- through college, and and. To a man, they were kind of turds. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I think we're all lovely, but that think might you, just be biased. You lovely Australian women put up with a lot. Uh, <laughs> Obviously, three. she's married to me. <laughs> outdoor activities. Australia's outdoor lifestyle plays a significant role in dating mm-hmm. culture. Activities like beach outings, hiking, picnics, and outdoor sports are popular choices for dates, taking advantage of the country's natural beauty and pleasant climate. See, as I said, generalized because I yeah. feel like here is a very outdoorsy. Some, some people. You mean unless you're in Darwin and you're at the beach, right? Where the crocodiles are? Mm. Kyla, there's, I mean, a lot in of people have In which case, if you sharks, don't like your date, darkness. just push them towards the crocodile. Oh, that sounds fantastic. And then, yeah, they, it's not like they're going to be stalking you, calling you all the time. Wasn't there, this, this actually happened here in the Pacific Northwest. Wasn't it just down at, um, what is that? The gorge. Yeah. Which is like, what, 40, 50 minutes from here? Mm-hmm. Some guy got married and then pushed the bride off. Ooh, and right. she accidentally fell or something, but I'm pretty sure it got, it found that he like pushed. I feel like, was it, was it in the gorge? I don't know if it was. I feel like it was. Why would you do that? Why I'll would you look it up. go through the money of um, marriage? Pretty sure it's that. Like she Because you're had, too embarrassed to say, this isn't going to work for me. Oh. And so you just go along I'm really with good it. At that. No, I think it was like insurance policies. I'm really oh, good. Oh, the money. Yeah. Oh, gold yes, the money. There's always, always mate, the money it's behind always it. always the money and it's always the spouse. <laughs> Man, if somebody doesn't like my cow and pig and my kid and my dog and my cat, then gone. Gone. Yep. Gone, gone, gone. Uh, sense of humor, number four. Australians have a reputation for their sense of humor and it often translates into their dating interactions. A light-hearted and pre- playful approach with banter and sarcasm is common in Australia dating culture. Pretty much sums up all of us right here. Like yeah. Cassie is probably one of the most sarcastic people I know. <laughs> no, Kyla beats so. me. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Kyla so, is pretty said, sarcastic. I'm flattered. That's pretty why we get along. Yeah. We're super yeah. sarcastic. We're all sarcastic. Oh, like yeah. I l- live on sarcasm. You do? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looked like you were living on the inside of that donut. I don't know about, about you guys. But, you know. Everyone's looks so neat and mine looks like some ramshackle It's the same thing. way you eat ice cream. Mine look like I pick b- the bits out. Yours looks kind of like <laughs> cock and balls, honestly. <laughs> what did oh you God, do to me? Look at that. that. Um, Here, it was the you head. Want me to like this, it was the head. That's not helping. <laughs> the voodoo doll's head. Dating etiquette oh. in the USA. It is common for individuals to play it cool and not show excessive interest too early in the dating process. In Australia, directness and authenticity are often valued, and individuals may be more upfront about their feelings mm. and intentions. Thoughts. Uh, well, hmm. how direct are we talking? Because I absolutely do not like to see some things that I get sent. Ew, no, not like, ew. Oh, yeah, it happens. So, how often? 
Uh, you, well, I I've gotten good at block not blocking. Why do they think off. that you want to see those? Like I don't I don't get that. Well, it's like it's like a cat with a mouse. It's pretty proud of it, and that doesn't mean I want to see it. I mean, that's is fair. it immediately you block because no, here's the thing: like in a lesbian thing, you don't do that. You're, no, you're not like first thing. Like here, let me show you my bits. Yeah, no, the guys like I've had guys send it before they even know my name. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh yeah, why? How yeah. about this, men? Do better, right? That's do that's better. A hundred percent. The re- how they treat me in a chat scenario is why they usually don't make it to a phone call for Ooh. sure yeah like yeah, well you, you that's only the smart thing to do and, and and i've had i've had guys go as far as getting ready to meet my family and then i take them out of town for a hockey tournament oh yes and they were complete turds turds mm. to Dog. my hockey team all female hockey team yeah, yeah. done done get and, out and like if you treat my family with any sort of disrespect or if you disrespect who I am, like I'm not going to show you. No, I have more respect over my body. How long does it take for you to go from tindering Mm -hmm. to a phone call? Uh, I have a couple guys where I haven't even talked to them on the phone because they've said things to me that I'm like, "Mm, let's cool it off a little bit. But How I will long get, would it take, like a week of chatting? Depends on the guy. I've had guys where I've talked within a couple days. Ooh. I, I have no problem handing my phone number out because I can block them. Mm. How long does it take you to do, say, a video chat? Oh, most guys won't video chat. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. I Recently, I've had issues with guys not even wanting to text. They want to stay on the dating app. So that, therefore makes me think it's a scam either a scam or they're cheating on their woman yes Mm -hmm. that's come across and it's happened twice in the last two weeks cut them loose yep so they literally will be like no i can't give you my phone number yeah no they and i i've been like you know this isn't gonna go anywhere i wish you the best you won't even text me i don't trust that done done good yeah like if you if you can't text and the other thing the other thing with texting that is key i can block them so remember that but the minute they text me from a number that's not my phone it comes up usually with a name Mm -hmm. and so then i can look them up yeah and then if i save it i can look them up on tiktok i can look them up on Mm -hmm. all these social platforms and i you can get an idea of who they really are idea of who they are (coughs) that's that's true because my boss Whenever we get an applicant, he will Google, like mm-hmm. not Google them, he'll uh, Facebook them. Mm-hmm. And he'll be like, oh, yeah, they were like smoking or something. Or mm-hmm. I'll be like, didn't even occur to me to look this yeah. person up. Yeah, no, I will literally look them up. 100%. I've had a couple guys that are questionable and they have pass. Mm. And, you know, and I. You mean by like arrest record passed? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can and you I, look up stuff like that? Yep. Do you have to pay? Mm-mm. You, you just it like depends on, the, it depends, depends on, their, their, on the service. Yeah. Sorry, guys, my my throat's being a little bit. Wonky. It, um, it depends on curious what they did. Is. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Huh. Interesting. Uh, number five: relaxed timelines. Australians may have a more relaxed attitude towards dating timelines and relationship progression. There may not be strict expectations or set time frames for reaching certain milestones, allowing relationships to develop at their own pace. Oh, I can speak I like to this. That. Oh, oh! So, yeah. Anybody want some tea? Yes, <laughs> no I, 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 I do love tea. tea. I love tea. So we dated online, Amanda and I, and I'm pretty sure that I begged <laughs> for about a year for her to Facetime me. A year, and she refused. A and year. I was almost positive that I was being catfished. But going back to what she just spoke about, as far as their relaxed timelines, etc. Um. I believe she had purchased a ticket to come for us to meet. And literally two days before she was supposed to fly to the U.S. for us to meet for the first time, she's like, I'm, I'm not kidding. coming. Oh, no. Well, it literally came like a few weeks later. You came a few weeks later, huh? <laughs> but still, 
It was li- whatever. It changed. Who it. does and that? I changed it. Who it, does that? I, right. I would have been like, oh, I'm coming. I would. I would have video chatted <clears throat> before the year marker. I don't like video chatting. Doesn't matter. I find it the most ridiculous thing ever. But if you have a distance, uh, I. I did yes, it. It is a way. <laughs> okay. Number After six. After I begged, <laughs> threatened, cajoled, I video chat broke up with you. Woo. Yeah. This is getting good. Well, obviously I wasn't not a catfish. Well, no. obviously <laughs> you finally came to your senses. Number six, open-mindedness. Uh-huh. <laughs> Australians tend to be more open-minded and accepting when it comes to dating. They are generally receptive to dating individuals from diverse cultural backgrounds, different ages, or varying lifestyles. Would I'm, we agree? I'm Do not. you think – no, like as I said, I, yeah. I don't even believe you fit any of these. Yeah. You could be Australian. Mm. But here I do find, like, would you tend to see, like, black people dating Every, uh, there, other it's black more mixed. people? Well, it, I think. I don't know. I think so. Or I is think, it more mixed in Australia? I think I think it it comes down to preference. Like, there's certain... It comes ra- down to what you find attractive. Right. There's certain races that I don't date because I've had poor experiences with them. Mm-hmm. Um, and that is my like personal... Like Americans? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> that's my personal but personal preference. thing preference yeah and usually, but you would be open to anything and i probably would but usually what i'm looking for is a white boy redneck redneck and that is usually caucasian mm-hmm. in this area yeah that's it, it, there's it's no fair center call. but it's, yeah. it's fair usually call. uh number seven pdas public displays of affection uh, Generally, PDA is more accepted and common in the USA compared to Australia. Holding hands, kissing or showing infection or in public is more commonplace in American dating. I Thoughts? can see that. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to mack on somebody in front of everybody. Oh, that's, I I like. that's rude. I agree. Yeah, I, I don't know what I that's think, all about. I think holding hands is one thing, you know, yeah. getting the door and... and peck on the cheek, peck, peck on, on the, the lips, but, you know, playing tonsil hockey in front of someone... No, no. Thanks, I'll pass. Doesn't do it for me. So I have questions. Oh, let's go. <laughs> boom, boom. We are sort of touched on this, but you never actually said, you said some of them, but what would be your ideal date? If I could say right now, oh. tomorrow, what would you do? Describe oh. it. Oh, let's go hike. Like, I would love to go hiking. Mm-hmm. Like, be in the mountains, like. Picnic lunch? Oh, if, if a guy wanted, oh, no, no, no. Ooh. Oh, no, no. It would be go to the mountains Dinner in the back of a truck with pillows looking at the stars. Oh, I love that. I'm putting looking at the stars in air quotes. <laughs> but I also love to mushroom hunt. And so if it was during mushroom season. <laughs> oh, you'll find one. No, 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 no. <laughs> I went shooting. Wow. We went, I went up to the mountains and went shooting with that one guy. And that was a lot of fun. That'd be cool. We had like six different firearms. and, mm. and Oh, we, his? Uh, no, I took my, my handgun because ah. I have a handgun. Yes. Mm-hmm. Is it pink? Oh, no, no, no. It's my Why con- did I think that? It's, I wouldn't mind a hot pink one. It's yeah. my concealed. I wouldn't trust myself it's with It's my one. concealed carry, so it's black. So, mm. to, cause I, to hide it better. Can you explain concealed carry? That means you have to have a permit? I have a permit for it. Did you have to do a course? Uh, no. Huh? You don't have to have a course. You have background checks, so. Okay. And then, so any person can open carry. Like, I could walk around with a gun on my hip, Correct. But to conceal carry, you have to have a permit. Right. But I the states confuse me because I know in Oregon, if I go in Oregon, I can't actually have a loaded firearm in my car or hmm. on my person. So you can have an unloaded one? Yeah. In your glove, locked in. Does that have yeah. to be locked? Uh, it's, it's kind of gray. I don't know gray. the rules. It's gray. We need to get um, <clears throat> Paul It is here. different state by state, <clears throat> though. State by state. I, mm-hmm. I need to get an Oregon concealed. I carry it for my personal protection mm. because I hike alone. Yes. And um, are you thinking bears or humans? Uh, I would be more worried about humans yeah. at this point. I agree. Um, the bears don't scare me. I've only seen one wild bear. Oh, I love that for you. Yeah. Bears don't scare Jealous. me. Yeah. Love that. Uh, well, because if you're loud, usually bears won't bother you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cougars scare me a little bit more. They stalk. There was a bear, though, that attacked a black bear. Not a grizz, uh-huh. but a black bear that attacked a man on his porch in Arizona Killing him. I, what? I want to know. Drug him like 75 yards. The neighbor, someone finally came out, I think, and, and destroyed the bear. I wonder 
So all of his attacking. Had they been feeding him or had that bear been getting into food around their houses? I mean, listen, it's possible, but it was it was very interesting to or rabies. to hear that. Is someone here? Yes. The kids. Oh. Okay, fair enough. Uh, they probably got their lanterns. They're probably <coughs> driving big red around. What qualities do you value most in a person? Uh, integrity. I love that. Honesty. Mm-hmm. Um, you have to be freaking loyal. Yes. Loyal. And then... Um, 100%. Also a hard worker. Like, if you don't show me ambition and drive... Mm-hmm. So would you... Someone on the doll or the welfare? Uh. N- Depends on the situation. Everybody's got a different situation. They better have a job in my yeah, book because I'm agree. working full time and I'm, I am didn't get any help from the government. And you know what? There are lots of jobs to be had right yep. now. Lots. It yep. mm-hmm. doesn't matter what you're doing. Yep. Okay. What do people misunderstand about you most? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this cool. is going to be interesting. Uh, I, are you trying to interview for her for to get dates today? Well, I'm you trying know, to help her out. Uh, you know, you never maker. know. There might be somebody down in Australia, like that sh- has a ranch or something. And, you huh, know, for sure, or wants to come up here and help. Do yeah, hey, I've anyone guys- is interested, please uh, reach out to us on I, Facebook. I've had guys say they won't help with hay season. You know, that's a next. Yeah. Oh, God. goodbye down the road again. I think. I think a lot of people. I come off sometimes gruff, unless you know me, standoffish. Mm-hmm. I'm a lot. More easy going with people that actually I trust. I so think people could misunderstand that. Yes, like your take your attitude. Yes, for, yeah, as a like off putting. Yeah, <clears throat> what's an insult you've received that you're proud of? <laughs> uh, besides that, I have a fat ass. Oh my god! Someone has said that. Yeah, but it's and okay. you're like, yeah, I yeah, got I it. do. Mm-hmm. Okay. I feel like every insult someone gives me, I'm like, oh, thank you. Oh. Like it's, it's like a badge of honor. It it happened yesterday. This guy, first message out was, um, gotta love those BG girls. What, what does that even does mean? That mean? Battleground? Yeah. What's that mean? I don't even know. I mean, I don't know. I'm not from around here. No, but 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 that, that tells me that you've already put me into a box. Why did, what? Coffin? Right. No, like a a stereotype. (laughs) Like, what does that mean? Like, I don't think I'm the usual person that you I didn't even know there was a battleground girl. Right. And he, he, he's like, I'm like, how many girls have you met from battleground? That's so crazy. Funniest dating question that you've been asked. (laughs) Can I see a picture of your feet? What? (laughs) Oh my god! Wait, wait, wait! Did you send it? <laughs> tell him, no, tell him yes. If you, if you send me twenty bucks for OnlyFans, <laughs> no, I've had some scams wow. tell me they'll be my sugar daddy too. This is <laughs> I could be a sugar baby. Oh my god! I'd send what? Like, what do you want me to do with my feet? I will oh send you gosh. whatever picture you want. Oh, you just send me I've some been money. Asked so much about my I feet. I will kick Did you, you down send some one? good no. photos with my feet. Have you sent any photos? Of my feet? Of any part of your body. Uh, clothes, yes. Like in the mirror? Oh, no. Like full body or just oh, yeah. like a you, I selfie? Can prop it. Oh, that's boring. Oh, you were snapping selfies left, right, and center yeah. the other day. Yeah. yeah. I can, I, I'm good at snapping pictures, but they're all full clothes. Full clothes. Yeah. Oh, Appreciate how boring. That. How dull. Oh, yeah. no, Amanda was the you. recipient of several well-placed photographs. Yeah, but you guys were in a catfish relationship for a year <laughs> yeah no, you're right <laughs> we were i obviously never sent anything like it, that so so but if i was <laughs> ever if i was in a, a relationship current photo from you was like i don't, don't holy moly no. if, if i was in an actual relationship things would be different but like right. i don't want in this day and age all these inappropriate oh, to be a, yeah and yeah, what's that say about the internet. myself if i'm willing to send things right off the bat to guys yeah and my feet are usually dirty because i walk barefoot so much come on oh i would have oh i think some of those creepy weirdos love that shit i should i should i should see if we can make some money i told my mom we should do a a feet page and see i'd do it i'd do it nobody wants to see your banana feet (laughs) (laughs) banana feet what does that mean (laughs) when we did those foot impression (laughs) things for those arch supports that you never used your foot was shaped like a banana. <laughs> Kyla, 
I don't know if I'm more insulted or complimented right now that I look like a piece of fruit. <laughs> Craziest thing you've ever asked A-N-A-N-A-S. someone. A-N-A-N-A-S. <laughs> Craziest thing I've ever asked somebody. Like on the dating apps. Uh, besides the normal, do you like Twizzlers or Red Vines? Eh. Oh, is a hot Red dog, Vines. Hot, is a hot dog a sandwich? If Ew. it's between two slices no. of bread. It's a sandwich. Yeah. It's between a hot dog. What would you do in 24 hours uh, in a padded room? Makes you think, doesn't it? Read a book. Look, you have to think about them, right? I'd have a nice long nap. Is it? Is there anything in there? Is it just padded? Like just padded by yourself? By yourself? Do you have a bed? No, padded. I don't know. (laughs) Sleepy time. But but I probably but questions like that make you think. I do. I like questions that Uh, make you think. Yeah, my best friend that has passed. uh, We had, I think. 50 questions. I'll have to find them uh, that her and I came Love up with. this. Uh, first dates. Mm, that's fun. Um, can you tell the story about the little guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's not a kid appropriate. You, the guy, uh, what, what are we going to call that? Uh, the eggplant? Eggplant. Okay. Uh, oh. I had a guy. He sent me a message. He goes, okay, so anytime a guy sends me a message, just... Several phrases that you know exactly. So if they say, hello, pretty, that's a scam. If they Ew. call you pretty, anything pretty, it's scam, usually. So Wait, how often are scams happening? A lot. Lots. Oh, lots. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Lots. Um, or if they tell you they're in the military, stationed overseas, scam, 100% of the time. Wow. Um, but this guy, he asked another question that I'm leery of, and it's, hi, can I ask you a qu- question I want to honest response yeah no i would have said straight and, up no and i go this net ne- i literally remember telling him this this never works well but go ahead Mm-mm-mm. and he goes well my eggplant is one inch soft oh my god this was not the story i was thinking yeah. <laughs> okay well do- no well, okay but how ahead. many inches when it was Please. you know fully two, grown two 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 and what did you say? No. No. Next. He goes, would you ever date somebody like me? If you would have actually got to know me. He wouldn't have cared. I, I, it might have been different. Oh, you'd still have cared. Hey, I'll tell you the rest of that story later. Okay. Because we got, this was not the story. What, the what one little? was like, if I was like oh. six inches tall oh. or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the, this Shit was like. just got awkward. <laughs> this is last Last month, you got to see I, so much stuff's happened to I me. I see that. Like, mm. I've had, yeah, wow. I've had some massive bad conversations. I had a guy message me, it was a couple weeks ago, and told me if I was six inches tall, what what would you do or something like that. Yeah. And I immediately referenced, uh, I was at a Disney movie, The Indian in the Cupboard. Uh-huh. And I said, I'd put you back in the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, what do you mean? You don't want to play with me? I go, no, you're a doll. That's weird. It was the oddest conversation. And, and like then, he, she sent me the screenshots of it and I was like, what is happening right now? <laughs> but on the bright side, you actually interacted with him. So I tried. It was half entertaining. I, like I tried. Props to the it guy was, for making it half it was, entertaining. It was very hard for me. Um, he... <laughs> He, I go, he go. He's, he said that he stared up at the pretty girl towering over in quotations. I go, you asked me the question. I just told you what it made me think of, referring back to the closet. Yeah. He goes, wanders your floor. So now he's putting, um, movement in this discussion. <laughs> His little, and I do hashtag awkward silence hashtag, and then he's like, would you squish me? And I go. That's strange. This whole conversation is strange. Yeah, it's. It, he goes, you could easily step on me like a bug, which is kind of hot. And I go, ew. And, and then I go, I go, you now want to be squashed like a bug? He goes, no, maybe. You can step on me, but don't crush bones. Oh, he he was wanting a dominatrix. And I go, strange. Ooh, I didn't think about that. I go, this is the most unique conversation via dating app. And then he never responded back. See, on the bright side, it was unique. And it was... Uh, it was on really the brighter weird. side, he never responded back. <laughs> right. Thank God. It, it wouldn't have gone very far because, like, I think relationships oh, was weird. need to be 
That's bizarre. That yeah. was just weird. Uh, best advice anyone has ever given you? Mm. Dating wise, just anything. Oh, life wise. Uh, my uh, one of my bosses told me everybody's replaceable. <laughs> It's to it, you, yeah. It's but it, no. He I meant mean, it's true. Work like your. Of course, never you, honey. Work, work. Honestly, no one could replace me. Work. No one could replace you, you. He meant like work, because everybody's replaceable. Work as hard as you can. That's what. Oh, uh, I took it as like no, no. We can replace you any second, so don't get too cocky. No. Oh, he was a well, great that boss. that too. But it's true. I mean, I mean, it's true. We're all replaceable. If we die tomorrow, the world would still keep turning. Yeah. Not only that, I mean, it, especially with work, I feel like we were, I died yeah. tomorrow. So what? Oh, exactly. They Biggest have- regret? Uh, when I was, mom and I went over to England. Loving it. Um, to visit family. Oh. And uh, we started in, in London and then we took a bus over to Wales. Mm-hmm. And we were met by Elmet and Howell, which are my grandmother's cousins. Um, and Get I. Elmet, <laughs> Elmet said, uh, do you guys fancy a swim? Well, mom and I were only there for two and a half weeks. I don't think you guys even know this story. No. Uh, and so we didn't pack trunks because we were going to be in England and most places don't have It's cold pools. over there. It's yeah. cold. And she goes, oh, we don't use them. Whoa. Oh, Nakey's. So here I am. I think I was like, was I Game 17 on, or 18? Let's do it. So we're walking along. I'll never forget it. We're walking along. Um, I'm like, sure, why not? Was Mom, it outdoor? They had a pool. So, so it was on the beach. Ooh. So we're walking along, passing this dairy. Um, and <laughs> Alma is telling us about these hunky Greek looking men that go down to this beach. And Greek I'm, men are hairy as fuck. Well, like, like uh, the statues. Oh, the okay. body Fair built enough. physique. What's it called? Adonis? Adonis. Adonis. Oh, yeah. So up over the rise comes this guy in these little shorts and like buff. And here I am, my teenager self going, Ooh. <laughs> but my biggest regret, we got down to the beach and the water was so warm. Yeah. Um, is that I actually, since I was raised pretty sheltered, this was my first time in different country, different cultures. Um, I didn't strip down. I just rolled my pants up and waded in with my pants on. I wish I would have stripped down. Oh, regret in life. Yeah. Wow, that's your biggest I, regret. You, well, because you can't regret. You can't regret much in life because you wouldn't be where you are or who you are it's today true. without the choices you've made. So none of my choices, I can say, are regrets. Even yeah. like my nine-year relationship with my ex, I can't say that I regret it because if I did that, I wouldn't be in Yakima. I wouldn't have mm-hmm. that led wouldn't you ha- to where you are. I wouldn't have Reese. That's true. So everything it, happens for a reason. Everything happens Truly for a reason. Do believe that. So you can't regret things. That is true. But that, yeah, I didn't get naked in a nude beach. Yeah. I, I it, like that's a good, that's a very insightful. Yeah. Uh, finally, what's your favorite childhood memory? Oh. Well, I think it's uh, reading in the hay trough. Well, I don't know. Anything with my I animals. Love that. Yeah. I used to yeah. sit in the hay trough. We had these big tires. And I used to fill them full of hay, and I'd read with my horses. Um, or That's really cute. I have Kyla a book, would love that. I have a book somewhere. It's Wings by Daniel Steele, and Mom used to catch oh, me. Um, I've done it. I've read with my horses. Right? <laughs> I, she she used to uh, catch – I. that house has only two locking rooms. I don't know if you know that. It's the bathrooms. Mm. Um, mm. I'd lock myself in the bathrooms and read books and hide from chores and <laughs> – and then I'd stuff the book in my pant and put my, my shirt over top of it and sneak down to the barn and read more. And oh. I, I have a book. It's Daniel Steele's Wings. And my mom and I had a tug of war over it because she needed me to do something. I don't even know what it was at this time. But we were tugging and it ripped the whole cover off. What? <laughs> <laughs> but I still have the book. I taped it up. Cause it's, Surely. It's the, well, but I, in Isn't her that de- like girl love stories, Daniel yeah. Steele? Uh-huh. In, in her defense, in, yeah, there's always a guy. Defense, you did something to mm-hmm. start it. There's a guy and a girl, mm-hmm. and, but I wasn't doing chores, and so in her defense, you know, good for her. Yeah, but tough love. Yeah, rip that thing. <laughs> okay, so truth or a lie? Oh, mixing it up a bit this week. I'm going to test you on the knowledge of the good old US of A. Okay, we should play truth or a lie one time. I would love her. that. Okay, Ugh. Mount Rushmore features. 
the faces of five U.S. presidents? False. Why is it false? It's not that many. How many is there? Four. I don't know. Less than five. Well done, Cassie. It's four. Have you ever been there? Well, no, right. You have, have been there. Yes. Name them. I haven't. It's uh, Teddy, Lincoln, Roosevelt, Elizabeth, Washington. Lincoln. Oh, yeah, Washington. Yeah, you're good. One more. Yeah, I don't know. Thomas Jefferson. Jefferson. Mm. Oh, figures. And why were they chosen? Founding forefathers, I guess. Mm-hmm. They were chosen to represent important aspects of American history, including the nation's founding, expansion, preservation, and development. Can we talk about how they took a sacred site for the Native Americans and totally and completely trashed it? Are you talking about the one down the road? No. No. No, that was actually a very sacred site for the Native Americans. Let's not go there. Uh, Number two, (laughs) the United States has the largest prison population in the world. True. Yes. Uh, Maybe. Russia might be higher, but go ahead, true. It's true. It has the highest incarceration rate globally due to several factors, including tough-on-crime policies, the war on drugs, racial disparities, privatization of prisons, and a focus on punishment rather than rehabilitation. True. True. I like the horse program. I was a criminal justice major. So there's a horse program in prisons? Yeah. Yeah. They start wild horses. Yeah. It's amazing. It's That's huge. so cool. There's a movie yeah. about it. I'll, I'll look up the name of it and How you can watch it. How do you get it. into that? Well, you have to be in prison first. Okay. <laughs> get it. The United States has the world's tallest mountain. What do I have to do mountain. to get there? <laughs> <laughs> well, she can come back into the U.S. I can have... <laughs> I can have horses all the time, not have to pay for them, right. get to work with them every yeah. day. I'm Be- in. Beautiful BLM. Do I need mustangs. to kill someone? What do I need to do? Right. Oh, my God. The United States has the world's tallest mountain, Mount Everest. False. No, that's false. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hey, did you know the the trip to Mount Everest is actually a lot of crazy funness, too? Cause the, the- like walking, you mean? Yeah. Hiking but it? Going up to base camp, but the runway is slanted. Into Ooh. a cliff. Did you know that? I when didn't. they land? Yeah, so they so land. So it slows them down. Well, it's, on a it's a cliff, oh. and then they have to immediately, I'm pretty sure that's that ram- runway. And then when they take off, they take off, and then it's another cliff. So it's really Ooh, cool. So I many like people it. have died there. Yes, it is situated in the Himalayas on the border between Nepal and Tibet. Yep. What you- is the highest mountain in the USA? Um, The one up in Alaska? Yes, Denali. Denali. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm so impressed yeah. with both of you but right she, now. But it's not Denali anymore, right? They it, changed it. Oh. Kyla, I'm even more impressed. Mount Denali, also known as Mount McKinley, is the yeah. highest peak in North oh, America. No, it was Mount, located in They changed Alaska. it to Mount Denali to honor the native name for it. And I then, get confused with name changing. Yeah, McKinley was what it was called by the people who moved there, but it was always known as Denali. I'm really impressed. I, I like the knowledge. Number better. four. I too. It's cool. The United States has the largest number of billionaires in the world. False. False. Because there's the, uh, the A-A-U-I-A-E, whatever. United the, Arab Emirates. Yeah, that. Uh, it's true. Uh, there are approximately 691 billionaires in the USA I in 2023. In and comparison, how much do they pay in taxes is what I want to know. Yeah. Obviously nothing. In comparison, there are... 47 in Australia. Unfortunately, I am not one of them. Ugh, I would I'm like to so meet a billionaire. That. Wouldn't that be amazing? Then I'd make a compound. Well, We'd sadly, just... the world is down one billionaire. <laughs> uh, yeah, did you? Uh, David was telling me that the U.S. Navy heard the boop. Yes. Oh, I yeah. Did. Just to recap, because everyone's probably got no clue what we're talking about, the Titanic... Explorers. There were some explorers that paid like two hundred and fifty grand. Yes, the a thing piece to go included. down in this little submersible, submarine-ish. Wait, can, would you have done to it? Go see it? No. No. Can you? So let, let's let's. No way. Okay. So first of all, let's talk about the name Ocean Gate. Really? That, that, <laughs> <laughs> but no. then then it reminds me of a really big propane tank. That's what it, it looks kinda like. Does look like a propane tank? And then the, the lighting inside was bought at Camping World, and it was. Uh, and the remote, the joystick, or whatever from was the, like a PS two joystick. PS two joystick. And then on top of that, the only way to get out of it was for people them on to, the outside to unbolt it. The seventeen bolts. Yeah, yeah. So let's just say it was a thousand dollars. Would any of you have done it? No. no. 
I mean, I'm not going to lie. I would have paid ten grand. No way. No. I hundred percent. I'd rather go. Would have signed up. I'd rather go to space. It's safer. I'd rather go to space. I mean, it'd be nice if someone went to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely no going and seeing that. I have why, no interest. Why? Why do we need to go down and see it though? That is a grave site. Leave it be. Yeah, I would have done it. I'm not going to lie. I've got that like adventurous spirit that I would have floated down of, for a few hours. I'd rather go see like a shipwreck of a pirate ship or something. That I'd would rather be take my ten thousand dollars and do a horse riding tour of Europe or something. Oh yeah, yeah no. fair call, fair call. Definitely okay. would not. Last one: the first atomic bomb was developed and tested in the United States yes, during World War Two. True, it is true. What do was you, it called? Oh, there were two of them. There was the bigger one and the smaller one. Uh, okay, well, that was their technical oh, names, but what was they generally just called? <laughs> what the A bomb. The Manhattan Project. Oh, yeah, the oh, Manhattan Project. Do you know where the, was it the plutonium that we used on the ones we dropped in Japan? Do you know where that was? I have no idea. Produced? So Han- Hanford, Washington. Ew. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it's still yep, The it's Hanford still nuclear site. There. Yep. yep. You, I want to go tour. crazy. Tu- we should go tour uh, the B re- reactor. You can tour it. That's cool. Oh. Let's yeah. do it. Love it. Well, well done, guys. You pretty much, I have to say, I'm, you, you, didn't you got them all. You me all. Oh, are we done? We're done. Sadly, we're done. But you, you will you come back? Me. Yeah, you didn't ask me about my day off. Yeah. <laughs> Quickly just say, I asked her this question before she came. I said, why did you have today off? And she said, oh, because if I don't burn my days off by the end of the month, I lose them. That's then you definitely so should have them off. Crazy. Right. I also Don't come back. Give anything You're gonna to have the to man. come back because we have. I have so much more to delve you need into. To, you need to write down all your questions. I need to write them down. Uh, wrapping it up. <laughs> any questions or feedback? Please reach out to our Facebook page. Leave us a voicemail. Links in the show notes. If you would like to support us and buy me a coffee next week, jump onto buymeacoffee.com forward slash get a USA. Rate and review us. And as we always say, Cassie, if it's not a five, get the. Oh. <laughs> that would have been the perfect place for me to be there. Beep. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate the donuts, everything. Been a pleasure to have you. Being married to me. Uh, okay. <laughs> See you guys. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>